have the same name twice in a vendor, a slight typo, and you're wondering, how do you fix that inside of QuickBooks? Well, you are in the right place. That's exactly what we're going to cover today. It's called merging your names together. If we've never met before, hello, I'm Candice Camfer, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers simplify QuickBooks. I'm the creator of Comps QuickBooks and QuickBooks Simplified. So today I want to talk about how do we do this thing called merging? Why would you want to do it and how simple it is actually to do? So it's common when you're adding names and you accidentally have a typo or you didn't realize you already had it, whether it's in the vendor center or the customer center. And so what you can do is put the names the exact same way and QuickBooks will merge them. Um, come look over my shoulder. I'm going to show you how I'm also going to give you some disclaimers on when to use this and when not to use it. I do want to let you know that if you are looking for the desktop version of this training, you can go up above and click on the link or look for it down below. We have both the desktop and the online version. So make sure you're in the right one. If you're looking for QuickBooks online, you are the right video. Let's dive in. So when you're in here and you're looking at your QuickBooks, you're going to come down and whether you're wanting to fix a vendor or you want to fix a customer, you're going to go in here. Okay. So vendors, that's what we're going to show. I'm going to show you today. You're going to come in here and let's say that you have the same name twice, whether it's p e maybe it's Chen's Gas and Oil. This is a sample file in QuickBooks. And you'll notice this one has an apostrophe S and this one doesn't. So whatever your mistake is, you're like, I want these two to go together, but I don't know how to do that, right? It's actually super simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to look and you're going to decide which one do you want to keep and which one do you want to merge it into. Now, a big asterisk here. Once you merge in QuickBooks, you cannot unmerge. So be very conscientious of choosing, be very careful when you merge, okay? Because for QuickBooks Online, once you make the change, you can't change it back, all right? With desktop, you can back it up, but this one you don't. So you look and you say, okay, the one I want to keep is the apostrophe S. So this is the one that I want to merge it into the other. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the name, super simple, go over here to edit, and you're going to see the name populated right here. You're going to just go in and you're going to make it the same. Whatever the change is, whatever the typo is, you're going to fix it. Then you're going to come down here to save. At the very bottom, you're going to click save and it's going to pop up this little screen and it says the name has already been used. Would you like to do what we call merge the two? Okay. Remember, once you merge, you can't unmerge. So make sure this is what you really want to do. The benefits is it's going to take all the transactions and put them under one vendor. So you can go ahead and click yes here. Now, another little tip that I want to tell you before I do. If you're thinking about doing this with, you can do this with any of your lists or your names within QuickBooks. If you're going to do it with your chart of accounts, be careful if you're going to use it with bank accounts because anything you've reconciled, if you merge it, it can sometimes mess it up. So I just want to give you that little disclaimer. All right. So you're going to click save. Boom. It says it's been saved. And now if we go over here to our list of names, we'll do it this way. So it's a little bit bigger. We'll see that we only have one. And what you'll notice is when you click on that, all of the transactions that were under the other vendor before will all be put under one. And this is how you can merge your vendors. Let me know below. Is this like a big aha moment for you? Have you been doing this before? Are you excited to go in and get it fixed? If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up for me so that we can help other QuickBooks users. And if you are needing help with learning how to customize QuickBooks to your business, you can always check out my customizing QuickBooks workshop. You can go up above or down below to register. Or if you have these types of mistakes where you're like, oh my gosh, I have so many mistakes that I really want to get cleaned up. I'd recommend going to my cleaning up QuickBooks workshop. I'll also list it up above and down below. I hope you're having an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you inside my next tip and trick. See you soon. Bye.